Hey, my friends, this is Jay Todd, and here's what's happening this week in gambling. This Week in Gambling has been made possible by SBR Forum. Sports betting discussions and handicapping on all major sports leagues. Visit them at sbrforum.com. Hello, my friends, and welcome to another rendition of This Week in Gambling. And as you can see on your screens, right down there, I'm your host, Jay Todd. On the show today, we have another big Vegas casino applying for an online poker license, plus information on when you can catch me filming on the streets of Sin City. But first, this week's big story. Last week, I told you all about new charges in the Full Tilt poker case involving their founder, Ray Batar, and poker pro Howard Lederer. Charges at first were things like fraud and money laundering, but now they've stepped up to the big leagues with violations of the Travel Act. It seems as if the news of even more charges being filed have encouraged old Howard here to end his silence and come out of hiding. And this week, he spoke exclusively with our friends at PokerNews.com. During the interview, Mr. Letterer shares his thoughts on Ray Batar and Chris Jesus Ferguson. Plus, in part one, he opens up about how Full Tilt got started. If you want to see these clips, you're going to have to head over to PokerNews.com and register an account. But it's worth it because these are fascinating segments. All right. I'm heading to Vegas at the end of next week, my friends. I'll be hitting the streets of Sin City, gathering material for this show, and I'd like to take the opportunity to invite you guys to come on down and crash my set. If you live in Las Vegas or you're planning to visit, you can find me at the Fremont Street Experience on the evening of September 30th or on the Strip near the MGM Grand midday October 1st. And hopping between Bally's and the Flamingo area the afternoons and evenings of October 2nd, 3rd, and 4th. But remember, what happens in Vegas goes on this week in gambling. Add us to your circle for the latest gaming news and videos. Visit gplus.to slash thisweekingambling. Welcome back. When I'm in Vegas next week, one of my favorite places to play Texas Hold'em is Binion's Horseshoe, the birthplace of the World Series of Poker. There's so much history there, all the old fixtures and pictures on the wall. I really believe that every serious poker player should make an effort to get to Binion's and play there at least once in their life just to say they did it. But soon, that may only be a mouse click away. Binion's has applied with the Nevada Gaming Control Board for an online poker license. And as much as I love Binion's, and as much as I wish them success, playing online just won't be the same. All right, my friends, the American football season is underway. 
the Major League Baseball playoffs are just around the corner. With an update on all this and what it means to sports betting, here's a man that's so good looking he can't even use a stud finder without the thing going off. My friend Peter Loshak from SBR Forum. Uh, thanks, Jay Todd. I, I guess I am sort of a stud, maybe, but uh, I'll tell you this. I do have a problem closing, to be honest. Like this past weekend, I was actually in a room in the Corbisi with just me and three chicks with two beds, but I couldn't quite make anything happen. So, I mean, I guess if the fact that I got to that point in the first place does mean I'm some kind of a stud, but the fact that I couldn't actually convert it into anything is very problematic, and I'm not happy about it. But thanks for the kind words anyway, Jay, and let's take a look at the upcoming sports betting events for these next few weeks. Of course, by now, both college football and the NFL are in full swing. There have already been big events, big upsets. Peyton Manning has returned with the Broncos, and some are saying he might not be a good bet as the season wears on. USC lost again to Stanford in a big upset where the public bet the hell out of USC last weekend. There's stuff like that every week, and uh, if you want to look ahead to the upcoming weekend of football or look back to the previous week's betting results, you should come check out my vids at SBR. Every Monday, I do a betting recap call with the headlinesman at a major book. And then every Thursday, I do a look ahead to the upcoming games with the headlinesman at a different major book. And we get a ton of great info in those calls. They're two of the most popular recurring shows we do at SBR Videos. The look ahead call in particular is great because the linesman tells me where all the sharp and public action has been coming in. So you can listen to that call and uh, even tail the sides that the books and or sharps are likely going to be on for uh, the upcoming weekend if you want. Then there's also UFC 152 coming up this weekend, where we'll finally get a flyweight champion in the UFC, and John Bones Jones will also be fighting as a huge favorite in the co-main event. Of course, all the major soccer leagues are continuing on, and the Major League Baseball regular season continues for another two weeks as well. The eliminated teams play guys they're bringing up from the minors, and the teams still in playoff contention duke it out to make it. So that's what's going on for the next few weeks in sports betting. Jay, I'll talk to you again soon. Thank you, Peter. It's always nice to see your smiling face on the show. And as for the rest of you, well, I hope to see you all again on the next edition of This Week in Gambling. The End. No, really.